What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to another video. Appreciate every single one of y'all for tuning in. I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta and handle some business while I'm out there. I'm gonna also be linking with Jada, as y'all can see from the title. I just noticed too, we about to hit 800k subs on this channel. As y'all know, this is my second channel. Uh, we closing in on 5M subs on the main channel. Make sure y'all tap in over there as well. I appreciate all the support. I'm gonna do like a little cash app giveaway. Uh, all you gotta do is watch the video, leave a comment. DM me proof that you left the comment. You know, I'm gonna show love to your cash app. I'm in a great mood right now, man. I'm feeling real good. These little Delta 9 gummies got me right. Shout out to Bay Smokes. Uh, I put Fly React on these Delta 9 gummies too. If you're trying to cut back on smoking, save your lungs, these gummies will give you the same exact effect as when you smoke, I promise. They got some THCA flour too, man. Over 20 different strains. This one's a P.O.D. cookie. That must smell good too. Smell that. Oh yeah, that shit is. Ooh. It's the same quality you get from your dispensary, your plug, all that. The only difference is the way it's packaged and cured. So like, it's federally compliant and they can ship the shit directly wherever you at, all over the US. They got $99 ounces on their website right now. They also got some live resin, live rosin carts, um, regular edibles. I'm gonna leave more details and information to that in the description below. Y'all can use my code ZRK20 for 20% off everything on the website. Welcome. You got the motherfucking pad in her, man. Yeah, this is... How long you had this for? So I just moved into this one because my other one outgrew it. So I had to get a spot that was like way bigger. So yeah. we just like, they just finished the um, the layout and stuff. So yeah, this is my new spot. This is the new spot. I'm excited. I yeah. never had um, Nigerian food before. Have you been to Nigeria before? Never been to Nigeria. I want to go though. I want to go to see or before the year over. Best time to go is December. December. No, that's what we've been talking about. I think we're going. I think we're going to go. We'll see. 30 December. Nawao. Nawao. Wahala. Nawao. What's this called? That's a goosey soup. A goosey. Fufu in. Yo, this is a fufu. Maple. <laughs> Come chop. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have always wanted to try this, but I just didn't know where to get it from in Atlanta. We got Miss Jada Chivas here, aka Jada Waiter. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is funny. What's good with you, man? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm excited to finally meet you and then to like try to fool. Hell yeah, man. You, we said, got, you said it was lit for me, so you know I had to show up and show out. Oh, for sure, man. We got the Nigerian food. I had to put on the Nigerian dishes, man. We got jollof rice, plantains, goat meat, goosey. Goat meat? I'm not eating that. You ain't gotta eat I'll that. I'll eat everything else. I'm yeah, not eating the There's some meat. fish in there, too. A goosey soup, okra soup. Food what food. kind of meat is this? Um, That's fish and chicken. Oh, okay. What you want to try first? This. The fufu, all right. Do you okay, or you think we should start with the rice? I know I'm gonna like the let's rice. Let's start. No, let's start with the fufu. Okay. Yeah, eat with your hands. Yeah, eat with your hands. You go first. All right. You showing me how to eat it? I never ate this. All right. So you grab like a good amount, like this, and you ball it up in your fist. I'm glad I washed my hands. Yeah, make it a ball. I'll make it a ball. Yeah. I can't use both hands. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Then you dip it in though. Get a good scoop. So what's this this stuff right here? This? That's the goosey, so What is a goosey? It's like uh it's a it's like uh I forgot the name of the plant. It's like So you gotta swallow it. You don't chew it, you swallow it. Oh. I mean you it smells a little fishy. That's normal? Yeah, it's, yeah. Fish, it's fish in there. Oh okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> Oh, you can chew it. She can chew it if she wants to chew nah, it. Nah, you're not going to get the full experience if you chew it. So you're supposed to eat it and swallow it like a pill? Yup. Yeah. Just swallow it. I can't do that. <laughs> she can chew it. I chew my food. You my chew yours? I chew my food. I chew my food. Oh, man, you're not, you're not from the motherland for real. See? I am, bro. I grew up there all my life. I can tell you that. I ain't going to lie. Hold up now. Good, huh? <laughs> Let me hit it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Like it? We gotta get her a Nigerian name now, bro. Uh, uh, shit. Oluwa, Oluwa Jada. Oluwa Jada. Oluwa Jada. Hey, Oluwa Jada. I did Jada. I did Jada. Jada. What time did they eat? Now for food, we eat chop. Okay. How about I get a piece of chicken? 
Uh, oh, just eat it. Yeah, just eat it with your hands. Like, like, go like crazy. Regular, yeah, like a regular dude. Do what you want. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can scoop the chicken with the this, fufu. This is good. Yeah, this is the food right here. And it gets you thick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shit. <laughs> 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 Shit, sign me up. So, like, what do you do? Besides YouTube, I know you lit. You got that world under control. Um, a little bit of everything. Talking about like business wise? Yeah. No wing spot. Let's talk about that. Um, wing season. So I got like 150 locations across the U.S. Huh? 150? Yeah, I got two in Atlanta. What is it called? Wing season. Is it good? Hell yeah. I mean, clearly you got to get you some. Oh, uh, I saw the rapper. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Let I'm me trying, hear. I'm trying something new. You want to hear it? Yeah. If it's weak, I'm going to tell you. So, are you ready? Not as hard. I'm saying you feel like it's hard, but I'm telling you, I'm very straightforward. So, if it's if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. I feel like that's why I gravitate towards like people in the music industry because I know music. And right. They, they be wanting that input from me. Hold on, let me get, let me go to my best shit. <laughs> All right, honest opinion. No, don't you don't have to tell me that. Just let me hear it. All right. You're nervous as hell. I be talking that talk, Siggy. I know. Bitch, I'm in the field, nigga. Call me Indiana Jones. Feel like Soldier Boy today, so kiss me through the phone. Feel like Usher yesterday in the shower. Bitch, I was burning. This nigga really. You're lying. What's funny? This nigga thought he. What's funny? You for real? Hey, yo, no. <laughs> Bro, you nah, got to nah. I fell. I fell. <laughs> I'm trying to stand on my stop. Phone. I just want to. Nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. All right. I'm <laughs> weed. That was funny. That, that was, was a good one. That was a good one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just into many different businesses. I've always been like a serial entrepreneur. That's what's up. So I got my hands in pretty much anything you can think of that make money. And I've been like that since I was a kid. You were kind of a serial entrepreneur too. Yeah. You've been lit for a long time. I, I actually knew about you when you was a more Jada. Oh my God, so <laughs> embarrassing. My little sister, uh, she used to like ask me to buy shit from your Poshmark. Stop! Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm literally gonna cry. And that kind of like, that's, I wasn't like super tapped in, but like I knew of you. Right. So it was crazy to see how far you didn't came and like now you got this big, you know, super house machine with your Waiterman brand and yeah how's that journey been I feel like this was kind of like I was always an entrepreneur even before I had a business mm -hmm. I always used to like find stuff to sell to the kids at school so like now that I really have a business and I'm like solidified I feel like this was in my destiny you know all right like I was born to do this what do you think it is about you that like other women are drawn to I'm just me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no agenda, it's no gimmicks. Like, I literally just, and me. Is that my drink? Mm hmm. This is malt. It's Nigerian classic. You got to open it. <laughs> no, Siggy, stop. Try it. This one now. Ah! Yeah. You want to pour it in a cup? Can you give me a cup? You're welcome. Just any, any other pink cup. If you grew up in Nigeria, like you drink most. You like, drink most. Most. Uh, most so. That's like y'all. Um, like Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Kool -Aid. <laughs> that's crazy. You do YouTube too, right? Not really. I, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I would like Instagram is my main platform, and like Snapchat. I be on Snapchat a lot. You, mm. you be on Snap? No. Nah. You better get on Snap. I'm telling you. I'll be on there for other reasons. <laughs> 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 Where the niggas at? Yeah, I'm trying to get my cookies crack. <laughs> yeah, no, um, Snap is lit. Who is your? You, I just you just was rapping Sexy Red. Like, who is your favorite? Is one of your favorite artists right now? I like Sexy Red. She she definitely is on the playlist. I like Drake a lot. 
Drake. Drake. Sexy Red. Who I, that's who I've been listening to lately. Um, who else? Who's Ice Spice. Ice, that's my bro. <laughs> Fucked with Ice Spice. Do you fuck with Afro, Afro music? Yeah, that's on Taliban's. So it's my favorite right now. That's not Afro. Yeah, it's not Afro. Oh, what is that? <laughs> that's, that's like Caribbean. Caribbean? Yeah. Oh. But you listen to Tens and... Burna Boy. Burna Boy, yeah. You Burna Boy. I like Burna Boy. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I really like him. I'm a fan. Yeah, who listen to Afro Beats? What's your favorite Afro Beats song right now? Um, wasn't I, what not? I was just singing it. Uh, I know my name. Unavailable. Unavailable. That's my favorite song right now. I've had so many questions when you walk <laughs> in here. I don't remember. What's some advice you would give to like women? Start, like trying to get their business off the ground? My advice would be to like, um, really come up with a plan. Right. And know what you are, know your audience you're selling to, know what you want to sell and make sure whatever you're selling is the right quality and it's a legit product that you can stand behind. That's my only advice, really having a plan. Cause- I'm glad you said that too. Having a plan, cause I feel like a lot of bitches just be starting businesses yeah like just because it look cool yeah, or she a, sell here i know i could sell here too right. but it's like way more to it and i feel like um people just do it because it's a trend they don't really they be passionate cool. about it just yeah put in their bio. and you could tell you could <laughs> tell when the girls who are really passionate about it it worked for them mm -hmm. if you're passionate about something it starts to pay off in the long run but then you got those girls who they be all over the place they sell this they sell that they sell this and it's like that's not really their passion they just doing it because it's a trend all right did you ever imagine life would become this crazy? I don't know if crazy is the word, but like just what it is right now for you. I feel like I always knew I was gonna be somebody mm -hmm. since I was a kid because I just saw it for me. Like everything I am doing now, it's like this was this was supposed to happen. Right. You I know? felt the same way. And I, I feel always like that's the case, but a lot of successful people mm -hmm. it's like you you have to really like believe that shit when you're a kid and i did that like i used to always tell people in my i remember i had a um a boyfriend in high school before like when i was in ninth grade and middle school it was like my middle and high school boyfriend mm -hmm. i used to always tell him i was famous and he used to kind of like laugh me out a little bit so like just to see him following me on snapchat now it's like <laughs> 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 you like being famous i don't even consider myself famous that's the crazy you're part. famous I just how y'all say the girlies they love the, you <laughs> the girls they do but I don't like a lot of people know me that's what I tell myself I don't be like I'm famous like nah a lot of people just know me you like being known yes that's a better that's a better way of putting right. it I love it because I know that I inspire girls daily just by like me being who I am posting about things that I go through like that mm. shit is inspiring to other girls so that's why that's why I keep going. That's that's really who I do it for. Do you have any cons of being like no? Oh yeah, the cons is just like I can't do a lot of shit by myself. Mm -hmm. I can't go out to restaurants by myself often because I got my little spots where I could slide to. Yeah. But like just being by myself, I can't do that. Like I can't just take my son to Target alone without people coming up to us, stopping us, asking for pictures. Like that's the only thing I would say is like a con, but then it's like, yeah, like I'm kind of paranoid. Yeah. Like I'd be real paranoid, especially when I have my son. So I just be like super on edge. So it's like, and he don't like that shit. Like he'd be like, mommy, <laughs> like come on. <laughs> One time we was walking out of the store, he was like, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures. <laughs> I'm like loyal, stop, you have to be nice. That's funny, <laughs> Speak, like speaking of loyal, like he, he has a lot of personality. Yeah, literally. Like. I could see him being an influencer himself. Like I think on he's definitely gonna. He wants to. He's been asked for a YouTube channel since he was like two. Man, start him early. I I, I knew really what I do need now to. When I was younger, I'll be a billionaire. Right. You and uh, you best friends with us, right? Mm-hmm. Did you, how long y'all been knowing each other? How did y'all meet? I was 13. She was 12. Mm -hmm. We met on Facebook. I had a rap group. Like I made a post on Facebook. And that's DM me like I want to be in a group, and I was like, send me some raps. <laughs> I was like, send me some raps. So she had sent me her number, and she sent me some of her raps, and I'm like, yeah, you in a group. And then ever since then, we just been like super connected. I don't be as invested 
but I'd be seeing it. Yeah. And everybody thought she was pregnant at one point. I think because I just had took a break off the internet. Like I really went missing for like a good little minute. And like, you know how like <clears throat> you just get in a relationship mm. and you just like, well, I don't know if you know, but girls, we get in relationships and we just like forget about ourselves. We totally mm. like just fall off the face of the earth because yeah. we so consumed in a relationship. And right. that is where I was at in my life. And I got super duper consumed to the point now it's like I'm back free, I'm back outside. Wait, you was in a relationship? Like recently? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know. I ain't know. I ain't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I like gave my relationship another shot and it shot me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's not funny, right? No, it's really not funny. I'm laughing. That's a trauma response. But uh, yeah, so. You know. So have you just given up on that? On love? Yeah. Oh no, baby. I'm not giving up on love. Love is gonna find me. So you still pursuing? Or are you waiting for it to pursue? Oh no, right now I'm just, I'm just single. Like I'm just chilling. I'm outside, I'm chilling, I'm having a ball with my friends. That's all that all matters right. to me. And like being a good mom, working on my business. But like as far as a relationship, cause I am the type of girl when I'm in a relationship, I get like so invested into the relationship to where I be like forgetting about me. Right. I don't want to go. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to take pictures. I don't want to like simple things that I do enjoy doing. I don't do those type of things in a relationship. So. I'm the same way. That's why I don't get in the relationship. Yeah. That's what's your sign? I would lose my head. <laughs> you are a Sagittarius. Nah. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because whenever I say it. No, 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 stop. Winter or summer? You're Aries. Nah. Capricorn? No. Okay, what's your sign? Aquarius? You're a Gemini? Yeah. I don't know Geminis. I do. What's Run. <laughs> yeah, Libras, we love super hard, it's, like, it's no to the point. I'm Aquarius. We'll get dogs so bad. But, like, it's all a learning process at the end of the day. So, you think that's a Zodiac thing? I wouldn't necessarily say a Zodiac thing, but Zodiacs do matter, regardless of what people be trying to say or don't uh -huh. say. But, um, yeah. Do you want more kids? Eventually, yeah. How many kids do you want? Two. I want. I would hope for a girl. A girl? Anymore. I can see you having a girl. I, I would <laughs> love that. That's like so, uh, that would be perfect. But, yeah, I could see me having another kid like in a couple of years when I find like the right partner and like. So you said when you find the right one, what, what is the perfect man like to you? I, if I, if I had the perfect man, I could yeah. tell you what the perfect man is. I don't f know. What is the ideal man to you? How like ideal is the yeah. word? Cause yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, ideal would just be someone who is aware enough to know what they need to bring to the table. Right. Like not no insecure man. Okay. I need a a per a partner that you know. Is mentally on the same thing I'm on. Same wavelength. Yeah, cause like, like I believe in being equally yoked, mm -hmm. and that's in all areas of everything. Right. So yeah, that's. I just feel like that is what the ideal man for me would be. Like just somebody who everything just aligns, and the things that we don't align on, we not gonna use that against each other. If that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? No, no, oh, no. Okay. So like, how does that man like get Jada Wade's attention? Um, like how does a man who's interested in you, get you my know, attention? like, you know, get like, approach you, get your attention? I like being caught in person. You gotta catch me in person. That's why I'm back So I feel outside. like a lot of niggas probably int intimidated. Yeah, they do be. They be real scared. But like, I'm so cool. Like, right. I'm really like a cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you got good female. energy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not like, a mean girl at all, so I'm very approachable. Regardless. What's your biggest turn off? My biggest turn off, like, like, like what's some a man can do? But like, oh, hell no. Like a liar. A liar. I hate a liar. Like if you lie about dumb shit, I cannot take you serious. I hate niggas that lie about dumb shit. But like a physical turn off would be, um. Like if you just dirty, like I like clean nails. I like, like you gotta just 
be on your your, your hygiene. Right. Like that that's super important to me. You care about money? You gotta have money. Status. Would you ever date another person Rapper? in the entertainment industry? No. Rapper, athlete. Athletes are entertainers? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think I Can never say <laughs> never. Can never say never, but No, I'm kidding. Could you date a cheap nigga? No. You cannot be cheap and like one He got money. Me. He got money, but like, you know, he. He cheap with me? He frugal. I know, but you gotta go. Because <laughs> I spend a lot of money on myself, so it's like. You deserve it. I deserve it, yeah. and I'm I'm a, I'm a good girl. Like, right. I'm a good girl. I, I'm not giving. I'm not even trying to give, like, boasting vibes. But, like, when I am in a situation, if I'm dealing with somebody, like, I'm gonna be good to you. Right. So, yeah. And I break bread, too. Okay. That's what a lot. Of, that's what a lot of females like. They, reciprocate. I definitely reciprocate. Like you, you fuck with me. I'm gonna fuck with you back. Like that's just the type of person I am. Yeah, 50-50 shit, man. No, it's never giving fifty fifty. <laughs> it's never giving fifty fifty. No. <laughs> it's never giving fifty fifty. But if, like, say for instance, you spend a hundred on me, I might spend twenty on you. Twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you buy me a Birkin, I might buy you a Coke. But if y'all both got it like they like. No, but twenty thousand is a lot. If somebody spent a hundred on you, for a girl, you don't think so? I seen your warehouse. She got it like that, y'all. She got no. a hundred thousand yeah. to spend on the nigga. I so. have. Oh, I, I done spent bread on. I'm just giving you it. What's example. the most expensive thing you ever bought for somebody? A man. Um, I brought a watch for a man, a uh, Richard Milley. Hey! Hey! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Not wild. I know that was wild, but <laughs> shit, it was worth it. Like, you be buying girl stuff? Um. Yeah. What's the most you ever spent on a girl? And don't be lying. It ain't been twenty thousand. I don't. I don't do rapper shit. No, I'm not. I, That's listen, rapper shit. Yeah, come on. I'm not even asking. Like, I, I wasn't expecting no crazy ass number. But like, what? What have you like? What you, um. A trip, cause that shit is expensive. Like yeah, all that I mean, stuff. I do that all the time. Trips. Oh, all the time. <laughs> that ain't all the time. That's regular shit. Trips. Um. How do you feel about keeping stuff private? You got to. Okay, but like, what if you have a girl and she like, I want you to post me, or you keeping? Cause they normally say, you keeping me a secret so you can have other situations. How do you feel about that? I tell every girl I mess with that like, I don't care about posting you, but like, just know once I do. It's going to turn into something different that you might not be used to. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's going to be your Girls going to be DMing you. All kind of shit. Yeah. Lies. You know, it's going to be, it's, it's too toxic. Like, it's just way more peaceful to keep it private. No, I agree. But then it's like keeping it private. But and that's girls, too. girls, we want to be shown off. Like, me, I know I love keeping things private because it's like, I know what it, I know what come with the internet. Like it's so hard, mm -hmm. but like then again, in the back of my head, I'd be like, I'm fine as fuck. Like <laughs> niggas need to show me off, regardless, you know. So it's like a, it's a fifty fifty type of thing with me. Do you like when your uh, when people embrace you in that music, like Lil Tyler? Yeah, I uh, feel like I feel like that shit be prom free promotion for me, especially right. when the song blow up. Because I remember when people used to send me that song. And I was like, damn, this shit kind of hard. And like, he blew the fuck up. Yeah. That shit is free promo. Give it to me, baby. Shout out to Lil Tyler. Who are some of your biggest influences? In general. Like, who's that I like? In is that in inspiration? Inspiration. Yeah, oh. Inspired by. Um, I'm inspired by anybody getting money. Facts. And like not depending on no man, Facts. like all the all even the women that are like married, like Beyonce, mm -hmm. the fact that her she's married to a billionaire, she's mm -hmm. a billionaire, and she still works so hard. That I'm inspired people like that because a lot of girls lazy. They like to depend on men. They like to fall back after they find them a rich nigga. Now any bitch who get money, I, I come in, I look up to because it's easy to get lazy. Anything you want to promote? No, I mean, I don't have anything to promote. You guys can always go shop on the site, waitamen.com. Thank you for pulling up to the warehouse. I Hell hope yeah. you liked it. I hope the energy was great. I felt with Hell you. Yeah. I felt with you too. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we did this. I haven't like done an interview in so long. So right. like you are 
special. That's what I told him. I don't be doing shit like this. Nah, I, I, I appreciate it too. Especially. Like, I really haven't talked to anybody like this on a camera in so long. So, yeah. And it's awesome cool shit too. Yeah, like, it wasn't like, I didn't games. feel forced <laughs> or anything. Yeah, no. It was definitely a good vibe. So, yeah, I like this. Without further ado, we out. And we out. <laughs>